what's up guys and welcome back first of all i want to thank each and every one of you if you've watched these videos and especially to y'all who have subscribed we hit 100 subscribers uh, a couple days ago unfortunately i don't know who it was because they uh they had their uh, name turned off so when it when they subscribed I, I it didn't tell me who it was regardless if if that was you that subscribed uh please comment down below i'd love to know who you are and uh uh, tell you thank you. I appreciate it and I appreciate everybody watching. With that said, uh, y'all know all the issues I've had with the boat so far. Um, it not staying running and not wanting to, you know, just some weird intermittent problems. So I charged the battery again, uh, which was the uh, starting battery, uh, and fully charged I got 12.2 volts. Um, so that, that told me it was bad. So I took it down to Walmart uh, and got the battery load tested. It tested bad. Um, this has a 24 volt trolling motor system on it, so I fully charged those batteries, tested the uh, one of the batteries, 2.8 volts I think, terrible, absolutely 100% bad, uh, and, and it wouldn't even load test. The other one showed 12.2 volts fully charged and load tested bad as well. So I went and traded in those old batteries, well not traded in, but took them back as cores. I uh, got a brand new Group 24 Everstart. I like Everstarts. I've never had an issue with Walmart batteries. So I got the 20 uh, Group 24 right here, and then I got two Group 27 batteries. I think there's the right way right there. Uh, two Group 27s uh, for the trolling motor for the 24 volt system. So one of the things that led me to do this video was uh, just how intimidating a 24 volt trolling motor system setup can be. If you're not used to working on them, if you've never messed with it and you need to change batteries, even that can be kind of intimidating. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, for me it was. Uh, I didn't know how it went together, I didn't understand it. You know, if it wasn't your regular 12 volt or, you know, two batteries in parallel still running 12 volts, I was, I was pretty intimidated by it. After reading up on it, it's not that bad. Uh, I've already taken the old batteries out, uh, but when I put the new batteries in, I'm going to walk you through how to completely get your 24 volt setup running. I'm gonna tell you where every wire should go. And the two wires that I have running from the boat, uh, from the trolling motor receptacle down to the batteries, all that would take is just running the wires and then you'd be right in, uh, right in the same boat where I'm starting off with y'all. So if you have a 12 volt and wanna to convert to 24 volt, or if you have a 24 volt that you need to rewire, or change batteries, whatever, and you're not sure how to do it, this is a video for you. All right, so we're down here in the battery well of my boat. Uh, so where my trolling motor batteries are located are here in the front of the boat in the bow. Here's the rod locker. Uh, this little cover goes over the batteries. So you pull that out and the batteries just go right down here. It's pretty convenient and there you can see all the, uh, the wiring and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the camera right here facing back towards the stern of the boat. Uh, that way you'll get the, the best picture of what's going on inside this, this battery well. So let's take a look what's going on down in here. Okay, so the, we have two wires coming in. And these both go to your trolling motor receptacle right here. Uh, so you have a positive and a negative. And these are the only two on most modern trolling motors that come in from your plug-in up to the bow, back to the batteries. So that makes it a little bit simpler to know that, hey, these are the only two we have to mess with coming from the bow. The other set of wires is gonna be if you have an onboard charger. I do, uh, mine is a two bank charger. So you're gonna need a positive lead and a negative lead on each battery. Say this is bank one, just put the positive and negative on this battery. And here's bank two, put the positive and negative on this battery, very simple. And I like to label the batteries, you know, battery one and two, it doesn't really matter which one is one and which one is two, just, to, uh, just in your mind to help keep it separated and help things go together. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in the tray. So we got that battery in, I have it strapped down and I ran this other strap through. Uh, we did have to stop and there might be a little bit of a resolution change because my camera overheated because it's July in Texas and it's about 120 degrees outside at noon. So I have a ice pack wrapped in a towel sitting on top of the camera, which is facing straight down. It is sitting in direct sunlight, so I'm not surprised that it overheated. It's not the first time, but a little, uh, you know, have some YouTuber problems and you gotta improvise sometimes to fix them. So let's get this second battery in there. All 
Now I will say how you arrange the batteries or orient them is, is important because what we're gonna have to do is link the negative of battery one to the positive of battery two. So this is just a straight shot. And I mean, you actually can turn it any way you want and it's not that much uh, difference, but depending on how long your cable is, that might matter to you. All right. So we got battery two strapped down now. Now we're gonna take the protective covering off the positive terminal terminals. These are our two wires from the terminal, from the receptacle. So if you were putting a new receptacle in, all you would do is run these two wires that come out of the plug through your boat and down here to wherever your battery box is. On the positive cable running to the trolling motor, you wanna make sure you have some kind of breaker on it, okay? This is a 50 amp breaker, pretty common. This is gonna to go to the positive of battery one. You wanna make sure you have your cover on here so nothing can arc against it, just in case something falls over it or, or something like that. So this bank right here for my charger, I'm gonna leave this right here because I'm gonna want it to go to this battery. The other bank, I'm gonna run it through here and you can run your wires however you'd like. I want it to go to this battery. So I'm gonna just, after I put the positive that goes to the trolling motor plug up front, I'm just simply gonna put the positive on top of there. Take your nut that came with the battery, put it on there, make sure it is tight. Also make sure your terminals are clean. I cleaned these beforehand, uh, so I know they are clean. I'm just gonna slide your cover right over there so nothing arcs over it. And I'm gonna leave this right here just for extra protection that, that nothing touches that. All right, so the next one, I'm going to do is going to be your jumper wire that's going to go from the negative of battery one number one to the positive of battery number two so what i'm going to do is take my jumper wire this was already pre-made for me uh it, it came with the boat so i'm just gonna uh, stay with it it's a pretty good gauge wire so you just you, if it was a thin wire or something like that you would absolutely want to change it if it looked like somebody had messed with it or something like that like I said, tighten it down tight. There we go. All right, now in the same fashion, we are to clean this off. Put this end on your positive over here. Now let's get the positive lead from your charger and put that on your positive lead over here. And we're gonna brush this off real quick, just like we do everything. Cleaning electrical connections is the key to everything running correctly. All right. Get our positive there. Grab your, uh, the nut that came with the battery. And as always, make sure it is tight. that over there what I like to do also is just put these covers over the over the positive terminals just like that just for a little bit added protection that nothing else touches them all right we've made it down to our last wire all right now our last wire is gonna be a wire from your trolling motor plug and it's gonna be the negative wire So you have to hook the negative wire from the trolling motor plug to the negative post of battery number two. We'll do that. And we'll put our negative lead for our charger on right there. Everything has been cleaned. And put your nut on and tighten it down. Tight. Always tighten it tight. All right, and that is that. It's all hooked up and it's ready to go. All right, guys, let me get this camera turned around. Uh, this is what it looks like from the front of the boat. 
everything wired up and ready to go now i'm not going to add any accessories to these batteries uh, these trolling motor batteries are going to be specifically for the trolling motor and trolling motor only um, the reason i'm going to hook my depth finders up to the starting battery is because it, you'll get a lot of interference when that trolling motor is running if you hook your electronics up to your trolling motor batteries all right guys so we're all hooked up on the trolling motor i would uh show you that the trolling motor works however it, it doesn't anyway it uh the trolling motor when i got this boat had the lower unit busted off of it and the prop was locked up so somebody hit something hard with this boat in the meantime i'm waiting for a new trolling motor uh but we'll have to uh we'll have to test our system when that trolling motor comes in but i hope this video helps somebody uh hopefully now you don't feel so intimidated by a 24 volt trolling motor system because it's only a few wires uh three wires if we're you know talking about just the trolling motor itself uh you're positive from the plug negative from the plug and your jump wire from the positive battery one to the negative of battery two all right if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing you never would know what's going to show up on here I mean, we even have a Cummins sitting over there that uh, that I haven't forgotten about. Don't worry, there's going to be more videos on that too. Anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and uh, tune in to the next one. We'll see y'all soon.